Hello, friend. Today is a big topic. There's going to be a lot of um, information here. Um, but I think it's important to kind of see the whole, oh, you can't really ever see the whole picture because the whole picture is ginormous. But to see um, some aspects in design um, that need to be to, to be looked at, to be seen in, in, in numerous different ways. So I'm going to talk about conditioning, wisdom, influence, and limitation today. So conditioning really is where the shadow is or the not self resides. Okay. Um, conditioning is when we're making decisions uh, from the, the, the conditioned mind. And this really um, creates dis-ease. So the mind itself is beautiful. Okay. The mind itself is beautiful when it's not in control. Because uh, comprehend this for a moment. So just think about any decision in your life. And what does the mind do? But it plays both sides of the fence. It's constantly saying the this and the that. It's always back and forth because it doesn't want to be blamed, right? It doesn't want to be blamed for, mm, for the bad that may arise out of the decision. But it sure wants to take the praise <laughs> if the decision is right and things go well. Oh, yeah, that was all me. That's what the mind wants to do. So this is where we make decisions, uh, you know, through peer pressure or chasing a whole bunch of bullshit or, you know, this is our openness. This is really where we are experiencing life, which is a beautiful thing as well, so which we're going to get into. So the collective mindset, when, when, when we're listening to that mind, it can hold us back from the role, from our purpose and from our power. because it really wants um status quo it doesn't want a whole bunch of change even though the collective process you know is leading to identification and it's leading to progress but yet the mind is scared it's full of fear because all of these you know millions of years of of experience that is sitting in our cellular structure, all of that fear has been handed over to the mind, okay? Instead of allowing it to be a body process, all that fear has been handed over to the mind. And the mind, all it's trying to do is keep us alive. It's trying to keep us safe. So it'll, it'll put up the resistance, trying to keep you safe. It doesn't want you to, you know, not be safe. However, it is also about taking some risks. And I'm not saying, you know, stupid risks like jump out of an airplane without a parachute. It's about, you know, stepping into the experience of life. If none of us allowed for our innovation to be presented to the world, we would still be foraging for berries and, you know, hunting wild game and living in a cave. But our innovation and taking and stepping into those risks and, you know, going in and finding our spirit, this is evolution, right? And, and whether you believe in you know whatever you want to believe in it doesn't matter whether you believe in evolution or not there's been this progressive movement of mankind and you know i'm not saying that you know we started from apes that's not what i'm saying there's this this momentum forward of of comprehending all of this like these mechanics are deep like my good lord Ra was on this planet for close to 30 years trying to teach us all of this and he still had years and years and years of information jam-packed into his cellular structure that he took with him. You know, hopefully his children and, you know, the people uh, at the IHDS and Jovian Archive that he has 
you know, drop some nuggets for are, are researching all of this. I have no idea if they are or not. I don't have a clue. But we have this, the mechanics of who we are is so complex that, you know, hmm, it's just complex. But the mind itself is beautiful, it, as long as we allow it to do its, its, its real work. And its real work isn't to hold us back from our role and purpose and power, but that's what happens. Its real work is to experience and witness how this beautiful meat suit was meant to house this, you know, soul or um, energetic or whatever it is. And when those two things marry, when those two quantums marry, how can, can, how can we become a self-reflected consciousness? That's the game right now. That's what, that's what everybody, you know, if you're in this, if you're watching this video, guaranteed you're, you're, you're seeking out some kind of spiritual aspect of yourself. you are spiritual and your meat suit is holding that spirituality now how do you get the meat suit to get out of the way so that you can fully express this spirit and yet and yet honor honor that it's actually the vehicle Okay, it's actually the vehicle that we're really meant to follow and not the mind because the mind is not the soul. You're going to go, yeah, but I get intuitive hits. Yep, you sure do. The brain itself is a beautiful um, antenna and receiver and, you know, it's like our what's held inside this brain is like this beautiful software that allows for for you to download but remember this is all there's an evolution there's a program it's all happening right and it still isn't about what what it is about is trusting that the vehicle is the life Okay, you're trying to get your humanness out of the way so that you can have self-reflective consciousness. And when I say humanness is, it's that mind that has, again, been handed over um, all of this awareness from millions of years on the planet. And then what it did was went, oh, well, there's all this awareness. Now I'm going to turn it into fear, anxiety, and nervousness. And we're going to worry. And we're going to worry about this meat suit. Well, these meat suits come and go. So don't be worried about it. <laughs> like you and I are going to be here forever. It just isn't possible. Or your meat suit, like your, your energy, your soul will be. I think. So the wisdom here is, so there's condition where the, where the mind is running amok. It's it's chasing after all of this bullshit and it feels very um it feels uh like resistance it feels like frustration it feels like bitterness it feels like anger and it feels like disappointment okay that's what resistance feels like but on the other hand when we're trusting that the vehicle knows and the energy of the vehicle knows before the mind can even can grab onto it. And I've done another video about that where the HeartMath Institute um, indicated that, you know, the electromagnetic field of the body is actually six seconds ahead of the brain or the mind, sorry. So comprehending that when we let the vehicle walk in the life, just move, right? Because we're always moving. Like we're moving gazillion miles an hour on this planet. Gazillion. Um, we don't even know it. 
there's an illusion happening that you and I are standing still. We're not. And and look at how like great this concept of all of this really is. And we're creating all of it. Okay, it's all being created in here. Because I am only perceiving and, and you're only there because I'm perceiving you. So all of this stuff can go so deep. And yet on the surface level, all we're asking through the human design system is don't make decisions from the mind. Trust the vessel, the physical body has the knowledge, has the wisdom. It's already six seconds ahead of what you can even comprehend and it will move you where you need to be moved. But if the mind gets in the way, all of that's a totally different story. There's going to be disrepair, most likely, in the cellular structure because of the resistance. And then, and then what we do is we, we create a victim story around that. Now, uh, you know, I have the 56 trait or gate in my, in my design. And stories are big. Analogies are big. Stories, you know, give me a visual. Give you a visual. But it isn't about using those stories to hold me back and create a victim. It's about going, okay, that was the experience. Excellent. Poof. I'm into the next experience and the next experience. Everything cycles. It's moving. It's constantly moving. You know, and then I can meditate and go, okay, you know, I can, I can look at, look at the experience and go, okay, ah, that's what it was. Because I asked the universe for whatever it was and there presented itself. Okay. Now, what is wisdom? Wisdom is allowing for the conditioning to happen. We have to be conditioned. We're not in this bubble. <laughs> we're not in this alone. We are, we're having all of these experiences with different people, different times, different everything, right? So that we can gain some wisdom through experiencing, okay? So the deep learning process of our openness allows us to experience and this is the curriculum that you and i are meant to come here and do okay so let's just you know my design i have um you know tons of places to be able to learn like all of this openness anything that's white ginormous ginormous pools of curriculum for me to dip my being in and then come out of that and go, huh, now I get to teach it. Okay. Because that's what we do. We have experiences. We learn from it. We get, um, you know, grokked the wisdom out of that experience for ourselves. Right. My wisdom is going to be something that I share with you. And that's going to be my outer authority. However, <laughs> it's not your wisdom, okay? It was just, you heard this, you went, oh, okay. And now you get to have your own experience. You're going to experience human design the way you need to. I know exactly how I've been experiencing it. And it is fascinating to watch it flow through my, my vessel. So now, now what I want you to understand is that there's conditioning and the conditioning can get very, very hard, right? It's going to rip, rip you apart. It's going to, there's disrepair there. The cells are like up in arms because they feel this resistance constantly, constantly, constantly. Again, reminder here, right? The electromagnetic of our physical body is reading six seconds into the future. And the mind is then catching up. So if we're letting the mind make decisions, the physical vessel's already like, hold on a minute. You know, I've already told your inner authority no, and the mind is going forward, and then all of a sudden, poof, something happens. Right? And I'm not saying that you're not going to see challenges, even if you do follow your strategy and authority. There's going to be challenges. We live in this world that we're humans, and we're kind of you know, for me, for sure, I'm a one three, life's supposed to bump into me. And it does, and it does, literally bumps into me. But the wisdom, we're meant to have these experiences and let that conditioning flow through us. We are all meant to be conditioned. 
okay? If we're not meant to be conditioned, we wouldn't be here. And we wouldn't be in this big pot of stew, you know? We just wouldn't be. Okay. So, a grokking wisdom out of those experiences. Now, that's my learning, my wisdom, my where I can put it into my cells and go, okay, okay. And you walk forward in that. Now, what's influence, right? Influence is selling people what they need from your definition, okay? So there's the human design side that talks all about conditioning, not self, blah, 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 blah. Talks a lot about wisdom as well. Then we flip over to the BG5 world. And we see the conditioning as shadows. And then through those shadows, again, we are grokking a great amount of wisdom from experience, okay? Not just from reading, you know, a textbook. And that's what lots of people do. They read a textbook and they read it and they go, oh, I know it. No, you don't. No, you don't. I can, I could regurgitate all of Ra's information. I can do that. I can regurgitate it all. But if I'm not experiencing it, th there's no point in this. There's no point in this. It's about having experiences to share them with you. So influencing on the business side is about us having a healthy business world because what are we in? <laughs> We are in a capitalist world. We are in a world that is all about, I am selling me to you. I don't care if you are on the, you know, the very tip of a mountain in Peru and, and you are growing coffee beans, okay? You're selling yourself. You're selling what you can bring to the land, what you can bring to these plants. You're selling that. And then whatever's being produced, you're selling that to the world. No matter how we look at this, we are selling ourselves to the other, period. We're selling ourselves all the time. And I'm not talking about, you know, you know, the, the, the prostitution, right? That's not what I'm talking about. We're, I am selling my, my fixedness, my limitation that I'm going to talk to you about. I'm acting this. So here I'm selling my wisdom from my limitation is what I want to say. Okay. I am selling my wisdom, my experience, my relationship to this information. You know, I'm on the right angle cross of contagion. And, you know, it's the third version. It's in the, it's in the quarter of bonding. It's about relationships. So I am selling me to the other based off of my interrelationships that I have in my life. So again, we're all meant to sell each other. And now again, I'm influencing you from my outer authority. Okay. I just want to show you this or here. How would I do this? I'll chat about limitation. So limitation is your, is your definition. Okay. It is what is fixed in you. So I'm five feet tall, uh, you know, silly limitation, but I'm, I'm not going to be a success in the NBA. It ain't going to happen. Um, here's a funny story for you is um, in, when I was in high school, I played volleyball and I was a setter and, you know, I can't jump very high. And what my coach did, because he was very invested in the team, that was his whole life, is he bought us these shoes that like kind of had springboards on the bottom. And really what they did was they um, got your muscles to really train so that, you know, you were more springy, could, could jump better. And um, he bought it for myself and for my, uh, for, for my captain. And uh, she was a hitter. She was, you know, she was tall. She was strong. Um, and she could fly through the air like a bird. That wasn't me. I could barely, when I jumped, I, my fingers barely got to the top of the net, okay? 
that's my limitation. <laughs> but here I am training with these shoes, hoping that I can jump higher. Well, it never happened. <laughs> I didn't even get like not even a quarter of an inch. And I trained for years with these freaking shoes, okay? For years. My limitation was I'm five feet tall. So my limitation is my design, okay? Here's my limitation. Here's my limitation here. This is my definition, it's my limitation. Now, here's what I'm gonna share about my wisdom, okay? So the 46 gate is all about the wellness of the body, the determination, um, you know, serendipity, luck, um, determination, dedication, effort, all of that, okay? But at the core base of it, it's about the love of the body. So I have the 29th gate. My 29th gate, this commitment, this perseverance, this, you know, saying yes to experiences so that I can experience it. This 29th gate is pointing to that 46th gate. It's pointing to that 46th gate. So I have learned so much about the health and wellness of your body. I'm actually going to do a whole case study on it, share it on YouTube, so that you guys can understand how powerful, okay, um, I, I am creating a mentorship package around um, the biology, the, uh, the four transformations, because I've done all of that schooling. I have experienced it for seven years, and I've watched, I've watched this. And now what I've done is I have done case studies on people and what they're selling you for a weight loss program, okay? What they're selling you um, for health, what they're selling you for wellness. And why am I gonna do that? Because, excuse me, there's been a ton, a ton of wisdom that I have grokked out of this. I have purchased um, pretty much every, um, multi-level marketing, um, weight loss system. Okay. Um, I have, uh, followed at one point or another, uh, the keto diet, um, a vegan diet, um, all kinds of stuff. Okay. I, I've, I've tested it all. I'm a one, three. My physical body, okay, my physical body is the third line. Trial and error. And what, what, of course, am I learning the most? Well, my 29th um, trait, that's my, my sun earth, my, um, my core essence, this 29th trait is pointing to this 46. So this is a massive conditioner for me. However, that conditioning has turned into a great amount of wisdom. Okay, you're following the thread here? And now what, what I have done is I have taken all that wisdom and taken all of the information, you know, that, that has been uh, brought from, from raw, all of those mechanics, okay? And I've created this entire program that is a mentorship program about your health and wellness. I've done the differentiation degree. I've done the holistic. I've done it all. I have done the whole business side. I have done a massive amount of the IHDS side. Now, can I teach you any of that? No. That's why it's a mentorship program because it's not about me teaching you each piece. Okay. So that you can, you know, if that's not what it's about, this is about a mentorship. And this mentorship is going to have you, you the being, enter in knowing your mechanics, okay? So I was conditioned, right? Bought everything on the planet. My 14th, <laughs> my 14th trait that is a part of my, you know, my future, and it's a part of 
my, my grounding, okay? So if you see here, my future movement and my grounding, okay, is in this 14th gate or trait. So all of this, you know, personal resources that I've used to buy all of these different programs and learn this information. And I've been conditioned. I've grokked the wisdom out of it, okay? And now I get to share that and sell it so that you can be influenced. Now, I'm not selling you something you don't need because that's not what design and BG5 is all about. Your mind wants weight loss. Your mind, right? I'm not saying you in particular, but you know, that's like one of the number one things that is on Google search, um, on Amazon search. And how do I know that? Because I actually use those tools because it's interesting. Again, wisdom, because I want to learn about weight loss. So I've done all this research about it. My first line mind, you know, so here I am showing you how to, you know, pull this information into your own design. Okay. So now I've created a program, a mentorship program where you can take a program that isn't just going to sell you bullshit, isn't going to sell you something generic. It is all about you, your wellness, your health, how to, you know, use your profile, use your definition, use all of what you have to step into the wellness of your physicality and your psychology so that you can move forward. So that's the influence. Now, what's the limitation? I am speaking to the people on my fractal. They can hear me. I am getting, you know, to the amazement of like YouTube. I'm getting conversations from people all over the world every single day because they can hear me. There's going to be a whole group of people that can't hear me. Okay, so I'm speaking to my fractal who are ready to step into this information, who are going, okay, you know what? Screw it. I am done beating my head against the wall, you know, spending my resources on a whole bunch of BS that doesn't work. So they are seeing how the conditioning has brought them nowhere. Okay, because that's what conditioning does. Now they want to grok, you know, or have grokked the wisdom out of all of this shit that they were sold that didn't work, didn't give them what they needed. And now they're going, okay, like no more. So they can hear my influence. And what they do is they accept my limitation. I'm only selling through my instrument. That's it. And if you can't hear me, you can't hear me. You've already, you know, those people have already pricked off. They're already off the video. They're not here. So design is complex, okay? You know, something that Ross said, if he could, um, if he could take all of the rightness, okay, and just go through the rightness and go through every aspect of the design through the rightness, and then go through every aspect of human design through the leftness, you'd have two totally different programs. Because the information is completely um, different. Left, left is old, it's strategic, it's seven-centered, so it's bringing that seven-centered energy. The right, the right is all future. It's all future, okay? So if you see here, I have a right brain body with a right mind. However, my nodal configuration, my storyline is all left. So I am bringing, it's like, it was so fascinating, okay? Because in my differentiation degree, uh, teacher uh, Andrea Reichel-Wolf, from Vienna, Austria. And 
Our class was so fascinating. And I'll tell you, I just went back and listened to a whole bunch of the classes. As a right brain body, right minded person, I have no idea what I've absorbed. I have no idea what I've absorbed. I, I, I don't know until somebody asks me. And then when they ask me, guess what happens? Is uh, my conditioning starts to panic <laughs> because I am not strategic in my mind and in my brain body, okay? I'm not strategic. And I've been, you know, trying to condition myself to be that. Well, not that. So if, you ever have, have, if you've ever looked at the variable chart, this is going like way into some stuff here, but that's what's happening. The, the thread is there. But there's this evolution from the quad left to the quad right, okay? So there's this four step evolution, okay? And the whole class was on one of these four steps. We had the whole spectrum from quad left to quad right, and then my uh, variable and the other variable in that line, okay, that brought us to where we are now, okay? So it's so fun to understand that, that there's this evolution and that whole class was on it. And it was a very, very deep, profound experience for me. And on the second time, it was even more profound because uh, my cells, you know, as I, I pay attention to my uh, biology, to my PHFS, to my site rave psychology, to all of that, as I watch this happen, my cells are, are disembarking are letting go the bullshit, okay? It's letting go all the crap in there. And when I do that, what happens is then I can then, you know, absorb more. It's this right, right uh, brain body, right mind system. So my left nodal configuration. So I'm bringing all of the, the seven centered, um, Hmm, strategy that's there that's brought to us, you know, about our momentum. Okay. And then who I am is this right brain, right body, right mind being. And they totally work completely, completely different. However, the creation of my brain body and my mind is well into the future. And what I love about human design is that it's always leading edge because it's your mechanics. And if you can trust the mechanics, if you can trust your limitation, let life flow through you, recognize the conditioning, grok the wisdom and influence people based off of that formula, you have something very beautiful happening. However, if you're just turning around trying to condition someone, because someone conditioned you, and of course, if we look into our past, unfortunately, those are the cycles that have happened and the BS that continues to happen in you know abusive situations. But if you can use this formula, okay, conditioning, Recognize it. Wisdom, grok it. Don't become a victim to the conditioning. Okay? Grok the wisdom. Turn around and influence other people and deliver that influence from your limitation so that that influence is something that they absolutely need not what the conditioned mind is telling them that they want. And then when you impart that wisdom on them and they get to then take that wisdom and move it through their system and go, holy shit, that's totally helped me. I'm telling you, there's, there's no other formula on the planet that will work the way this will. And... <laughs> So right now I got two mentorship groups on the go. Okay, one is strictly business and one is strictly wellness. And 
it's it's about you know paying attention to those two sides of the world because without the vessel there is no business there's no material plane this is material look at this this whole thing right here is material so but it has to be aligned it has to be well so how do you how do you get there how's the simplicity of starting to get there strategy and authority and decision making period and then from there all of the mechanics all of the information in these mechanics powerful but if the mind is still running the show it'll never be powerful okay so here is the the formula for for a healthy life um let me know if a mentorship program either through business entrepreneurship all of that or your physical body either one totally in and uh we can get you started you know soon all right so that's my limitation that's my learning that's a little bit of information about you know how you get to this formula and uh enjoy Thank you very much for your time.